Okay, we have uh, most of the shading done on this metalwork. Uh, I am going to. I'm going to adjust this whole thing. Bye. Yes, I'm going to adjust. I just want to make sure that I have. right amount of shading on this. I want it to be shiny. Um, come on, just leave it how it is. Whatever. Okay, we need to work the colors into this. This is going to be entertaining. Um, what is a good way to do this? I guess start down here. Um, we're going to pick up... Do I want to do all this on another layer? All I'm doing is I'm picking up the colors of the background and kind of spray painting the tones on here. To make sure that this is reflecting the colors correctly. Pick up more oranges in the top. These are mostly reds and pinks down here because the background is mostly red and pinks. Up here, the light gets oranger, so we start to add more oranges into it. We're going to add more yellow into this, red out the middle. Um, orange tones, oh, it was really so bright, yellow tone, because we're pulling directly from this light. I do want to reflect some of the green into this. getting the, the green off the wings, but it's still kind of there. Okay, bringing a little bit of green into this, yellow in this, red off of this, because there's red in her outfit. Um, this is going to strongly reflect the, oops. Right off of that, orange off of this end, we are picking up the colors. Now, now it actually looks like her environment is actually playing a role in her outfit. the yellow back up over here a little bit more. Not all of it. That's fine. I'm going to go ahead and blend some of this so that the transition is smooth. Those are pretty good. That also really darkened up our, our metal down here, which is good. I mean, we want it light, but we don't want it super, super light. So without it, notice it's all like silver and it doesn't really blend in but once you do that to the metal it actually looks like it's part of the picture and just the rainbow touch on the metal 
uh, it's more aesthetically pleasing than plain gray. So it just works. We're going to leave that. Are we to where we can get rid of the lines? Just about. I'm going to have to do a lot more shading. But okay, let's let's get rid of the lines. How long have I been at this? This is a while. I have my, my recording set to stop every 40 minutes, save, and then start a new recording so that my file size doesn't get to be ridiculously huge. But, yeah. Oh, God. Getting rid of lines is going to be so hard. if I change the color values. I'm going to make them more brown, less gray. And the reason is then I can do this. screw with the colors. I can even lighten them up. That works. If I wanted to, I could semi-remove them. Um, usually when I work with lines, Um, there are some that I will keep. For instance, I'm going to get rid of all the lines on her hair because they are not doing me any good to be here. Um, when I go ahead and I fix the hair, it's just going to be easier if I can just see the hair and I will do my own edits to it to add the little strands of hair and stuff to make this fixed. I don't, I, working with the lines isn't going to help me in this case. So I'm going to delete those lines. Um, let's see, where else can I delete lines? I'm going to kind of look at it. I mean, there's a lot of places I guess I could get rid of them. And it's not going to make much of a difference. Like, on the metal, there's enough metal there now that I could get rid of these and I could probably figure out what to do. But on the face, I always keep my lines on the face. Because the face is so little, it's so delicate. Um, wow, is that really the color I picked? Oh my. Nope. Multiply. There we go. Um, I tend to try and work the face lines actually into the painting. Um, I can get rid of the ones around the mouth, I guess. I have some some editing to do. So, goodbye lines on the face. The ones around the lips I am not going to need because that's the first thing I'm going to fix. We're getting into the details. Yay. Where's my mouse? My mouse is behaving today, you guys. It's awesome. Ridiculously enough, uh, where's my skin layer? There's my skin layer. Yesterday, after I was having, like, so much trouble with my, uh, just behave your face right now. Um, <laughs> I was having a lot of trouble with my mouse acting up. It was like totally not behaving. Um, after I had finished recording and I was going to oh that's right I need to <laughs> I almost forgot important. Merge. Oh, this is painful. Merge, 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 merge. Oh no, back, back, back. Fuck, what happened? I don't know. Oh, that's 
way. Merge. Merge. All of our color is now on one layer. Okay, I have to have it on the same layer so I can do all these little edits. Um, what was I saying? Oh, after I had such trouble yesterday with my mouse acting up, um, I was all done. I closed out of my program. And I went to do something. Oh, I went to, like, watch the video to make sure it was all set up. And my VLC media player kept, like, freaking out. It was weird. I was like, what the crap is going on? Why is this not behaving? Um, I just, I couldn't get to play anything without it crashing. I thought that was so weird. And I was like, oh god, is my, like, video corrupt? Because that would really suck. And so I was, like, messing around with it, trying to get it to work, and nothing was working. I was like, okay, that's weird. Fine, I won't watch the video right this second. I'll go, you know, find something else to do. So... I went to like YouTube to watch videos and catch up on the stuff I watch. And that wouldn't come up either. <laughs> it kept crashing. And I was like, what the heck is going on? What is happening? I, I don't understand. Couldn't figure it out for life of me. And so I was like, finally, okay. Whatever, I'm going to do reboot. We're going to figure this out. Why is this not working? And what I discovered, which for some reason it did not occur to me at the time, was my uh, video card or whatever had frozen. Uh, it had crashed. And so, every time I was trying to watch anything video, I couldn't. And I felt so stupid. I was like, really? This didn't occur to me. Maybe that's why my brush kept working, because the rendering was failing. I don't know, I felt really dumb. I need to soften up. Okay, I need to bring down the shiny just here. Kind of blend it in a little bit. Because I am going to go back and edit this. <laughs> okay, uh, I need, well, I guess bright yellow is going to work because I need to work a lot with Shine on the lips. Okay. Um, I need 
to deepen up the bottom of this lip. I'm going to take this light bit, extend it a little bit. I swear I have reasoning for all of this. I just, it works. Shush. <laughs> This is where I start to fix all my shading and whatnot. I don't know if I can explain it, but you'll see what I'm doing when I actually do it. So now her lips actually look like lips. And look, there's no line on her lips. I actually need to add a little bit to bring this down a little bit further. Okay, and I want to bring this Okay, um, so we don't need this layer anymore, we don't need that layer anymore. Okay, um, get rid of the dark wrinkles around her eyes because we can just do that with shading. I will probably leave the eyelashes and just go over them again and make them darker because those lines help. Um, I will fix her eyebrows. I hate this part. I do want them to show that they are black, so let's put this color with a smaller brush. do is first we'll go under the lines get rid of the lines okay little brush darker color. My brows are so easy, they look so hard, but they're not. I'm just like, okay, stroke, stroke, stroke. Coming towards the center. Oops, that was a little bright. Stroke, 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 stroke. And then, go back with the skin and break up the outside edge. I should have done that one differently. Break up the outside edge with some more strokes in that color. And it makes it look like little hairs. It works. They don't need to be solid. You just have to give the illusion that they're eyebrows. And that works. I'm going to soften that up. Okay. 
We're gonna have to do a lot more shading on her face. But I kinda wanna get these guys out. Okay. Oh, I need to do her nose. I'm so tired, you guys. I don't know how long I've been sitting here. Um actually we can check the video. Hold on. You guys can go look at my computer. Um, or I'll just be, this will be in the bag of many things. Sorry for the beeping, my windows is annoying. Bag of many things, this is where I hold all my files. And, ba -dum -ba -dum -ba -dum -ba -dum. where is YouTube? Thank you, Kirby. We are, oh crap, we're on our third one. How long have we been painting today? <laughs> That's 80 mini minutes right there. Once this is added, that will be... Yeah, this is getting really long. Um, <laughs> uh, you, I think you guys get the basic idea. All I'm basically going around is I'm getting rid of the lines, and I'm doing what I did to the lips. I'm adding contrast. I'm finishing up the painting. I'm adding, you know, the lights. The stuff that makes it look real once all the lines are taken away. Um, it's just little tiny details. They're not hard. It's just, it's a lot of work. Um, I really need to get this done by tomorrow. I don't want to record forever. Um, yeah, this is just going to take a lot of work. It's going to be very tedious. This is probably going to take me the better part of two days. So, what I'm going to do do now that you kind of see what I you see what I've done you guys get the gist of how I work um, you got to see me do the lips so you understand what it is I'm doing um, I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna stop recording I know it sucks you guys want to see you're like no the face let me see the face <laughs> um, there's just so much I've got to do and the more I sit here and talk the longer it's gonna take I'm wasting time. So I am going to stop recording. I'm going to go get all of this done. And hopefully sometime tomorrow, I will have this posted for you guys. If not, I'm going to work on it over the weekend because without having to record, it's going to be a lot simpler for me to finish things up. I will try to remember to take close-up shots of all the really cool details. So I can be like, yeah, look what I did. See this? Here's this. And if... After this is all uploaded and you guys see it and you're like, I really want to know how you did this particular thing, ask me. If you ask me and say, Mia, would you please like, write a little mini tutorial on how you did this specific thing, I'll do it. All you guys got to do is ask. I'm really not that mean. Um, I'll have time after this commission. So I will go ahead and write you guys up some mini tutorials and sort of explain what I did. I can even record it if you want me to. It's just I'm trying to get this done specifically by tomorrow. Um, I wish I had like another week to keep recording, but this has already taken way too long. And believe it or not, I am I'm so behind on my work, you guys. Um, not only with this, but the the book reviews I'm doing, I have one that I need to turn in today. I have not I was asked if I could turn it in today, um, and I finally figured out the, the title, the one I was going to mention yesterday. Um, it's Trail of Bones by Chris Salisbury. It, it's, it's, I think it's good for a, a younger audience, so if you guys know any anybody who enjoys like reading younger middle grade books, like 12 years and up, um, go check this out. It is on sale today. And tomorrow on Amazon for the Kindle, completely free. So look it up. Again, that's Trail of Bones by Chris Salisbury. Um, I need to do a review of it today. The, the author was like, would you please review this by the 4th <laughs> so that I can get it posted and people will buy my book. And I feel kind of bad because I've been so busy between this commission and games. <laughs> Other stuff I've had to do with, like, Easter and people being sick. 
that I just, I haven't got it done yet. I was, I was already working on another book that was horribly late, and I finished that one. Yay, the review is up on my blog, blog, go read it. Um, seriously, if you guys enjoy reading books, come visit my blog and talk to me. If you're on WordPress, come talk to me. I need blog buddies. Um, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I, I really need to get it done. I need to get it done today. I don't know how I'm going to do it because I need to work on this too. And this is more important because I'm getting paid for this and that one's free. But I feel bad that I haven't done it. Um, I'm probably not going to sleep tonight because I'm going to be working hard on this. Probably, I wish I could get it done by tomorrow, but I'll pr it'll probably be done this weekend. I'm going to work on this, like, forever. <laughs> and I got to work on the the book. I have to get that done today. I want to get it done today. I could get it done tomorrow, but I really want to get it done today. So I gotta go get work done, and I gotta stop jabbering with you guys. It's been really fun. I'm glad I got to tell some stories this time. I have so many stories. If you guys ever want to hear a story, or just want to know something, just ask me. I'm happy to share. I think it's fun. Uh, yeah. So, uh, Thank you for watching, you guys. I really appreciate so many of you sticking with me throughout this process. It's been so long, but you've all left such wonderful comments uh, telling me thank you and, you know, asking questions. And I really appreciate it. I, I realize this is, like, the longest series ever <laughs> for painting. And um, I'm boring. So thank you for taking the time to watch and give me feedback and I'm so glad I really appreciate it um, like favorite comment subscribe whatever it is you guys do share my videos with your friends if they want to learn how to do art or just like laughing at me that's okay too I can I can take humor <laughs> and um, hopefully this picture will be finished and uploaded to DeviantArt tomorrow but if not, it will be done this weekend because I am adamant I'm going to get it done this week. Um, you guys go stop by and see Cardine, who this commission is for. She's she's really awesome. She's like one of my biggest commission supporters. <laughs> she's always asking me to do the commissions. I love Cardine. I love you dearly, Cardine. Um, <laughs> and yeah, keep doing your art. Keep asking questions. Keep learning. I will see you guys next video, whenever that is.